In this video, I'm continuing to show you the settings page for the ultra simple PayPal shopping cart. And we got now to products page URL. If you put a URL in here to a products page or any page that you want within your products, what will happen is when the shopping cart is empty, this link will display in the shopping cart widget. Not when you've got a post or a page showing your cart, but only in the cart widget. Now, display products URL in the cart. Now, normally what the plugin does is each item in the cart will have a link back to its original page. That may or may not be useful to you or your visitors, but let's say we don't want it, then you would have this ticked off here. And that's checked off by default, by the way. This hide cart empty message, that means that if your shopping cart is empty, it's going to say so and it's going to display on your widget or on the page of the post, by the way. Now, this is actually checked off by default, and I've unchecked it here because I don't use that. The problem is that if you check this, in other words, you say, I want to hide the cart empty message, it literally hides the entire widget, which is very confusing to visitors. So you don't want that. You want people to know they've got a cart, but it's empty right now. Okay. So I'm not even sure why that's there, but I guess some people want to do it that way. Hide items count display message. Okay. This is checked off by default, the hide items count display message. And if it's checked off, then it's not going to show how many items are in the cart. It's not going to display that message. And I think it's a good idea to have it off by default because really, unless you've got a gigantic cart filled with dozens and dozens of items, it's pretty easy to see how many items you've got in there. One, two, three, four. You don't necessarily need it to tell you that. Hide shopping cart image. There's a little shopping cart that displays and you may or may not want that. So it's nice and easy to tick this off here and not show it. Shopping cart title. Now, this can be a bit confusing, especially if you've used the other simple PayPal shopping cart. In this one, this controls just the widget title. It's never displayed if you've got the cart on a post or a page. It's just for the widget. And what it does is it replaces a default title, which is just called shopping cart. So if you don't put anything in here, it'll say shopping cart. We'll take a look at that more as we implement this. Cart is empty. That's the message that's going to show up if you have display cart empty message. Okay, in fact, that would be handier to have this up top here beside hide cart empty message. But anyway, this message here, the singular or the plural products in your cart, that's for when you have the how many items are in my cart message displayed. If you're not displaying it, you don't need to worry about these. Now, the nice part here in this next little bit here is you can control the wording of a lot of the elements of your product display and of your shopping cart itself. And that also means that if you want it in another language, this is where you would put your different languages. All right, so those are a lot of different items in here. And then we've got some more text that we can affect here. The return URL, this is where you would go after you've had successful payment, like a thank you page or something like that. By default, it just puts in the home page of your website. Automatic redirection to checkout page. And this is where you would put in the actual page where you've got your shopping cart. They call it checkout, but of course, it's actually the shopping cart. The idea here is that if you don't have a widget on the sidebar okay, for your shopping cart, it's on a separate page or a post. It doesn't automatically go there to show you that the item you just added is in fact in your cart. And people like to have that verification. Did it actually go into my cart? If it's on the sidebar, they can see whether it is or not. This is very handy to check off here and say, take me over to the shopping cart and show me what I've got. If you're not using the widget. Reset cart after redirection to return page. Well, remember this return URL, once you come back from having paid at PayPal, this will actually reset your shopping cart so that it's empty again. And that's probably a good idea to turn on because it can confuse people and think, wait a minute, I just paid for this. Why is it still in my shopping cart? And then finally, there's a very kind of strange setting here at the end. 
it looks like because of the use of the word validate here, validate WP shopping cart, that's the short code you would use. Normally, you add your products to your cart and then you just click your cart button and it goes to PayPal. In this particular case, if you start filling in this URL here with another page, what it does is it takes you to that page first. When you click on checkout to PayPal, it takes you to this page first. You fill out a form of some sort and then it takes you to PayPal after you've submitted that form. Now, it's never quite clear what this is about or what it's for. It certainly doesn't validate anything. But I think from what I've read in the forums that the intention here is if you want additional information to be submitted to you before they go to PayPal, it's like a chance to grab some extra information from people. And maybe there are scenarios where you need that. I'm not totally sure what it is, but it's certainly nothing to do with validation. I'm not totally sure how to use it. We'll try to figure that out as we're going along. But that's the basics of your settings page here for the ultra simple shopping cart.